BYT Sports Blocked Out outside of YouTube Space LA. So thank you very much to YouTube for helping us out and throwing us a bone. And I appreciate all of you guys being so incredibly patient with me and with TYT Sports as we are trying to find a permanent studio here in YouTube Space for some time. And then we're moving to another studio. No big deal. So now let's talk about Fulham Football Club uh, and nothing regarding Clint Dempsey. So just pump the brakes on that when you talk about Americans talking about uh, Fulham Football Club. Now, there, were, there are currently uh, two statues uh, standing outside of Craven Cottage. And as a matter of fact, there is going to be one in the near future because the former chairman of Fulham decided to put up, for some reason, Muhammad al Fayed decided to put up a Michael Jackson statue. Here was his quote when the statue was put up. If you don't understand such a gift this guy gave to the world, they can go to hell, as in the people who decide to hate on his decision. Well, uh, obviously, I find this ludicrous and idiocy that he even put it up in the first place, but that's neither here nor there. And the lone statue that will stand is a legend, an absolute legend at Fulham Football Club, Johnny Haynes, who played his entire, almost his entire, he spent 18 years there, not his entire pro career, but 18 years at Fulham. Those are what statues should be, not Michael Jackson, not a, no, no offense, not a statue of Rihanna outside of Craven's Cottage because the chairman, Shad Khan, who of course owns the Jaguars, purchased Fulham Football Club for 150 million pounds. Uh, oh yeah, I like Rihanna. So you know what, I'm gonna put up a statue of Rihanna because maybe I'll invite her to a match and she'll come and she'll see a match or two and then we're gonna show how much we love her and appreciate her being a fan of the club. Muhammad al Fayed got this wrong, incredibly wrong, and now Fulham is getting it right. They are going to give Muhammad al Fayed back uh, the statue. He's going to put it up on another piece of property that he owns because he's worth a bajillion dollars, which obviously he can afford. You see a picture of him right there. But he continually insisted that Michael Jackson was a fan of the club. Now, the statue was installed at the back of the Hammersmith stand. Hopefully, they decide to put one up of, oh, I don't know, Brian McBride or, you know, just anybody, somebody else, a legend at Fulham than Michael Jackson who attended one match. And, oh, he praised everybody be just by being there with his presence. Oh, bullshit. Come on, let's be real. Keep it with the players. Keep it with ownership, whoever earns it, not a pop singer like this. So now I asked you guys to chime in on Twitter what exactly you thought about this. Here are your responses. Dan Graham says, statues shouldn't have been there anyway other than knowing the former owner, owner, Got it. Michael Jackson had nothing to do with Fulham Football Club. Obviously, I agree with Dan preaching. Thomas E. Rojas. Tweet tapers from the MJ statue was more Al Fayed than Fulham, so of course it was going away. I wonder what music Mr. Khan likes. So now I'm asking you guys to chime in on Twitter. No, no, I'm not. So now I'm asking you guys to chime in in these comments section below that we always try to talk about. Is it the right move for them to get rid of the Michael Jackson statue, or do you disagree with me and think, no, just keep it up. Maybe it could be a, uh, 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 an ode to Muhammad al Fayed. Obviously, there are many different ways to do that. So leave a thought there, and also do me a favor. Click these buttons up here to help support TYT Sports so we can talk about more 40 news and bring it, no holds barred, uncensored, to you guys, the viewers.